Hello everyone, um, it's me, Dino. Some of you might know me, some of you don't. Um, I make, in general, I make FTL videos, mostly shit posting or, yeah, more trailers. But today I want to show you how you can install FTL or just run it on your Android device, including tablets and phones, maybe even your TV, but I have no idea why you should do that. But let's get into it. Uh, you can press new game and yeah, you're on your hangar. It, it works as it should. You can go and start a game. There are a few things that, a bit, uh, that are a bit annoying and that is uh, the mouse. You have to like move it on your touch screen to press some stuff like the weapons. Um, but aside from that, I've made a uh, Pretty solid key mapping, I think. You can press most of the things, upgrade, then you are here. Press menu to go back, it's basically the escape key. Maybe I'm going to rename it store. Um, no store is here right now. Uh, you can press jump. Um, yeah, it's jumping. The C1, C2 and the other C buttons. These are for crew, like if you press C1, you can send crew one here or there by pressing the, I don't know, crosshair. Um, you can pause with that button. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fine. I'm going to improve it, I think, because the weapons, I can make them touchable. Like I, said, I can just pr uh, press a button down here. It will be a bit easier, but the mouse is still a big disadvantage. But aside from all that, the game runs pretty good, I think. Uh, I have 60 FPS while running that. Yeah, and it's it makes fun to play. Um, you can do it if you want. Uh, of course, playing on a computer is better, but... Yeah, sometimes you don't have a computer on you and... A phone should do the job too for now. Sadly, I haven't figured out how to get mods to work, like hyperspace, but it's possible and I'm going to make another video on how to do that soon. Yeah, soon, uh, but, but I promise I will I will do one. Um, and now I think I'm going to show you how you can install it on your phone. As you can see, I'm on my other phone now. I will use this phone to install FTL and showcase it. Um, yeah, but before we do it, we need to install a few apps, two of which are CPUX and RS File Manager. You will see why we need them later in the video. Um, to get them, you can just use the Play Store or install an APK if you don't have access to a Play Store. And then we also need WinLater. You can get it from GitHub. I will link it below in the description. Um, when you are here, you are going to download the main.com.winlater obb file um, it's under winlater 1.0 uh, for you it might just look like that just press on assets and download it by pressing on it um, scroll up to winlater 1.1 or if there's something newer download the newest and then just download the winlater 1.1.apk i have already done so and I don't need to do it anymore, but you do. Just wait till it's done and then you are going to see like a WinLater 1.1 APK download has been downloaded. Just press on it and open with package installer. And then there's this little pop-up. It tells you that you have to enable unknown sources um, to install the APK files. APK files are Android packages these are like uh, just the apps, but not from the Play Store. Um, just go to settings and uh, enable uh, unknown sources, and then you can press install. If it's done, just press open allow it to access files and then it tells you unable to extract OVB image. Um, that's 
what we have downloaded here, but we needed to run the app before, so it creates a folder. Um, now we have to use the OS file manager and move the OBB file to the certain location. We cannot use the normal file manager because it cannot access this certain folder. Um, that's why we use RS file manager. Just give it access to your files and then it should look something like that. Go to internal storage, go to downloads, uh, hold on the main.1 file, that's the win later obb. Now we need to move it. Go to Android OBB, give it the permission, it's a secured folder. Just press this button or I don't know how it looks for you. For me it's this blue button down here, enable or allow. And then you can access the win later location, the OBB location. Just drop it here, press OK. It's going to take a moment. And that should be it. Now you can go to win later and it says installing OBB image. I'm sorry I had to plug in my phone it was running out of battery and it slowed down the recording a bit um, but when it's done it should look something like that. It says no items to display because we have not created a container so far. We can go on the side and see shortcuts, containers, inputs and all that. But for now we are going to check something else before we are going to do anything here. Just open CPUX, head over to CPU and we are back here. Um, we have to look what model we have. We have a Qualcomm Snapdragon. Um, I have a Snapdragon 820. Yeah, that, It's not the best CPU but it does the job for now. Um, we have four cores, or I have four cores, two of which are clocked at 2.15 gigahertz at max and the others are at 1.59. Uh, um, we are going to note it down or remember what cores are the fastest. For me it's core 1, 2 and we are going to use core 3. Optimally you should use 3 cores, it runs the best best FPS and what's also very relevant is the GPU. If you uh, have the wrong driver uh, later then FTL won't display anything and it's unable to run anything. So now we go back to win later, plus plus, uh, press plus, create a new container. I'm going to name mine FTL. Um, the screen size is also relevant. We are going to select 1280 by 720. It's the best for the scaling, else it will look very poorly scaled and very pixelated. It will just look very bad. Um, the graphics driver is the VirGL driver. For any Adreno or Mali GPU, you are going to use VirGL. Others are going to use Turnip plus Sync. LVME pipe is not recommended, it's CPU rendering, just don't use it, try one of these two. And the DX wrapper, you can use Wine 7.8 and 8.0. For me the 7.8 worked better on my one phone, but I'm going to use 8.1 here, show FPS, select both of the first CPU cores, disable the third, like I said. The strong ones are pretty relevant, three are the best. Then the GPU name, I'm going to set mine to the 470. It's actually pretty ir irrelevant. Then uh, set the video memory size to 512. Uh, mouse warp override, disable. It can mess up your mouse while in game and yeah, that's not, that's not pretty good. Then go to the X components and turn everything to native windows, else you will have like broken muffled sounds later on and we don't want that. And the rest can be like this. Just press the check mark, 
it's going to create a container that takes some time and there we are um, just press the three buttons and run the first time takes a bit but we have to verify that it runs at all if not we have to tweak some of the options you have to figure it out yourself I think it works for me and yeah there we are um, this is the wine desktop looks a bit weird this is the file manager and now we are going to press the triangle to go back it opens this menu press exit and there we are again now we have to grab our copy of FTL to do that you can just uh, connect your phone with an USB cable to your PC and move all files over or you can upload them to the cloud or and download and then you have to copy over FTL to your phone. I finally finished uh, to bring over my files into my phone. Uh, make sure to put them in your downloads folder. Uh, no, not here. Go to internal storage, downloads and make an FTL folder. And make sure to put all the FTL resources in there and not somewhere else because when later won't be able to find them. I'm on my main phone again. As it turns out, FTL doesn't actually run as good on my other phone. It tried to load but it didn't end up anywhere. So I'm showing it the rest of the stuff on my main phone because it won't be much different for you. Um, if you have all files transferred, just press run. It's going to start up, just a moment. And here we are. For you, there isn't this FTL thing, that's a shortcut I made. Um, you are going to navigate to D, that's your downloads folder. Press your FTL file. Um, you will, this, these folders aren't here for you now. You will just see the FTL game.exe. Um, uh, hold one button, uh, hold one thumb down or finger while your cursor is on the FTL game and then tap with another finger while you are still holding and then you can let it loose and press create shortcut. It's going to, well, that's not what I wanted to do. This is basically the uh, holding or a right click when you use two fingers at once. And then you have the shortcut. After you've done it, just run the game once. It's going to take some time and for you it might look a bit funky, but it's, I'm going to show you how you can fix that in a moment. So for you it should look something like this. Um, you have a weird looking top bar. Um, yeah, I think I messed it up a bit, but it's going to look a bit weird. And to fix it, just press on options, press on full screen, and select borders. Um, you can disable dynamic backgrounds depending on how your FPS is right now, and then just press OK, and the game should look something like that. Um, and before you press launch, just press close so the game saves its settings like the full screen and language and all that because if you just close the vm it will break now we press exit and because of the shortcut we created we can go here and press shortcuts and that's pretty much a quick launch it's much faster as before and while the game is loading we can select our key mapping I will link mine, the one I made below in the description. Just select the gear symbol and press import profile. You, oh, no, I dropped my phone. Um, you should have like um, a file called ftl.icp and just select it and it will pop, our, pop up here called FTL and there is no save button so you can just press back and okay. 
uh, before doing it, just press input control, select it here again and disable cursor. And it will look something like that. We disable cursor because else we have like a crosshair and a cursor at once and that's looking a bit weird. It works out, but just turn it off. It, it isn't practical. And yeah, here we are, FTL is running as it should. If for some reason something of this doesn't work, you can try tweaking the settings, but I can not guarantee you that I will find any way to help you with that. You can message me on Discord if you want, but for some reason this just doesn't work on some phones. My other phone also couldn't run it, that's why I switched back. And yeah, it's not perfect. No emulation of any game is perfect, but it does the job and soon enough I will make a video on how you can get mods to run. We are back at the fight. Um, yeah, that's pretty much FTL on your phone. It works, it's fun to play, but yeah, not perfect, but playable. I hope you liked it, um, I hope some of you might play it too. I've put some effort into making this and also a little uh, credits go to the guy on Reddit. I don't know the name. I will put it on the screen here when I'm editing the video. He uh, gave me the, or he made a post about a program called WinLater. He just said somebody could try it. I did and it, it works pretty well, but nobody made a guide before. And yeah, that's that's FTL on your Android phone or Android tablet. Uh, I hope you have fun with it. And yeah, goodbye.